Hey, Lisa Filia here, your confidence coach for your career. Let's talk about feeling insecure. <laughs> Not my favorite feeling in the world, and yet something as an entrepreneur I often experience. And feeling insecure is a really interesting feeling because it feels terrible. I mean, literally terrible. It's like this hot ness all over your body where you just want to like sink to the ground. Um, there's times where I feel like I'm literally going to melt into the floor um, because of this feeling. But what I want to offer you, to you today is that the secret to success and to continuing forward is to not be afraid of feeling insecure. Because we think this feeling of insecure is the terrible part. And while it does not feel good, a lot of times what holds us back even more is fearing feeling that way. So we don't take action. We don't do things because we don't want to feel insecure. An example for me uh, that, that's recent is this idea of a workshop, so a self-confidence workshop which is kind of ironic when it's about self-confidence and uh, I'm feeling insecure about aspects related to it. But it fits really well with the actual workshop itself, which is about how it's not about having to feel confident all the time to do things. It's about how to be able to move forward any emotion, regardless of what it is, and not let that stop you. And that's the secret to true, deep self-confidence. And so what I was noticing for myself is I was feeling a bit insecure about getting people to this workshop, about whether I'd be able to do it. I'm an excellent coach, incredible facilitator, and I don't have as much experience in the marketing and sales side. So I was feeling insecure in that arena. And what I was noticing is that was stopping me from actually going out and telling people about the workshop. The feeling of, of um, insecurity was stopping me from telling people about it because I was afraid I wouldn't get anyone. Which, of course, is, is funny because if I'm feeling insecure to the point where I don't want to tell people about it because I don't really know if anyone's going to be interested, what does that lead to? Well, it leads to nobody knowing about the workshop, which, of course, means then nobody will come to the workshop. So I'll be stealing my own fate because of feeling afraid of uh, the insecurity that could come with not getting anyone there. I don't take action, and so I don't get anyone there. And when you think about it like this, it, <laughs> it, it just makes me laugh because it, it isn't helping me at all to just get afraid of the insecurity or afraid of what could happen if nobody comes because all that does is make that my reality. And so what I've learned instead is if I can lean into feeling insecure, let it be okay to be feeling like the melting on the floorness of insecurity, which is how it, it feels to me often. If I can be okay with that and knowing maybe no one will come and not letting that have to be what stops me from actually telling people about it, then I'll have so much more likelihood of being successful. And I'll also not be so focused on perfectionism of like trying to get the workshop just right, and I'll actually be able to spread the word about it and make it into reality. And so what I did was I decided it's okay to feel insecure about my marketing and sales related to this workshop. And that insecurity doesn't have to mean that I don't move forward. So what that led me to do was to go door knocking, was to post ads about it in the local community, was to spread the word at different networking events and let people know. And now people are getting the opportunity to sign up. And that will be so much better than me never having spread the word or told anybody about it. So don't let insecurity stop you. And that's really what this video is all about. Even if the workshop comes and nobody is there, like even the people who signed up just decide not to come, it still might feel very uh, terrible. I still might feel insecure in that moment. And I'm going to let that be okay because I still did what it takes 
to push forward. I still try things out. And even if it's an epic flop failure, even if, let's say, a bunch of people come and then I just just completely bomb it and feel insecure from that or from the thoughts I have about that, I'm letting that be okay because it's still me showing myself the way forward, taking steps, letting it be okay to fail, letting it be okay to feel insecure and moving forward anyways. So that's what I have for you today. Don't let insecurity stop you because when you don't let it stop you, then you can do amazing things you never thought you would be capable of doing simply because you are willing to feel insecure. All right. Thank you so much, my friends. Hope this helps and we will talk soon. (laughs) Bye.